Hi folks, David Waring here again from LearnBonds.com and today we're going to talk about how to predict future stock market movements using the bond market. It's common knowledge among institutional investors that while the average investor stays glued to the stock market, the smart money watches the bond market. The bond market is much larger than the stock market and it's where the big boys play. The bond market is also where interest rates are set, so you can think of the bond market as the dog and the stock market as the tail that is getting wagged. Because the smart money watches the bond market, it tends to move before the stock market and can therefore act as an early warning system for stock market sell-offs. How does the bond market provide signals to stock investors? Through something which is known as credit spreads. Credit spreads are the extra yield that investors require for bonds which carry a greater credit risk than U.S. Treasuries, which are considered to be free of credit risk. For example, if the average investment grade corporate bond with 10 years until maturity is yielding 5% and the 10-year U.S. Treasury is yielding 2%, then the investment grade credit spread would be 3%. As you can see from this chart of the investment grade credit spread, credit spreads move over time. When bond investors are comfortable and not very concerned about the economy and default rates, they will not require as large a premium over Treasuries. During these times, credit spreads narrow as the additional yield investors require on investment-grade corporate bonds falls. Conversely, when bond investors grow more concerned about the economy and default rates, they require a higher yield and credit spreads widen. You can see this clearly during the lead-up to and during the recent financial crisis where credit spreads widened out dramatically. What does this have to do with predicting the stock market? The bond market has a better track record than the stock market at predicting problems in the economy. Therefore, when the bond market gets concerned and credit spreads start to widen, it should be seen as a warning sign to stock investors that a stock market sell-off may be coming in the near future as well. One example of this is the top and dramatic sell-off in the stock market during the recent financial crisis. Here's a chart of the SPY ETF, which is designed to track the price movement of the S&P 500 index, which is widely followed as a performance barometer of the overall U.S. stock market. As you can see, the stock market topped and began its historic sell-off in October of 2007. Now look at the chart of investment-grade credit spreads zoomed in on 2007. As you can see from the chart, credit spreads widened out substantially starting in June of 2007, giving the astute investor an early warning sign of what was to come in the stock market starting in October. Now I could have certainly cherry-picked that piece of data, however I think you will find similar patterns with other stock market sell-offs. So you can see for yourself, I've included a link to the free credit spread chart from the Fed's website below this video. That's our lesson for today. Please feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. For more great bond education, also be sure to visit us at LearnBonds.com, follow us on Twitter at LearnBonds, and like us on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash LearnBonds page. Thanks for watching.